Hello, my name is Dr. Zara Patel, and I am a sinus and skull based surgeon. And I would like to use this video to teach you about rinsing your nose with salt water, or what we call saline. There are many different reasons why rinsing your nose with salt water can be beneficial. The primary reason is just the mechanical cleansing out of whatever it is you've been breathing in throughout the day. We all breathe in things like allergens, irritants, pollution, as well as things like viruses, fungus, bacteria throughout the day, every day. And we do have a self-cleaning mechanism in our nose that helps protect us against those things, but a saltwater rinse can be helpful and add to that. Now, the other benefit is that because of the salt content through osmosis, the saline can act as a natural decongestant, drawing excessive moisture and bogginess out of the tissues in the nasal cavity. So if there is already a lot of inflammation, it can bring that inflammation down and allow mucus to come out, air to go in, and any medication we're trying to deliver to also get in further. There's also the patients who have undergone sinus or skull-based surgery, and rinsing your nose with salt water can be very helpful in the healing process. It brings out blood clots or whatever else that will make you feel better and really allow the healing process to take place well. Now, there are many different devices out there with which to get salt water in and out of your nose. And the one that I recommend is the squeeze bottle. There are other things like the neti pot or powered irrigators. And the squeeze bottle is the one I recommend because number one, it's a high volume, high pressure irrigation. And we know that that salt water is getting into and out of the sinus alpha paths where we want them. We also know that you can completely take apart the squeeze bottle to clean it and sterilize it, either with using hot water and soap or just putting it in the top rack of your dishwasher or putting it in the microwave. There are many ways to clean it well. For the powered irrigating devices, you have a motor, which is harder to get to and make sure that it is sterile. For people who really want to use that type of irrigator, I would recommend using something additional, perhaps a 10% diluted bleach solution that you can run through the irrigator every so often to make sure that it is clean. Otherwise, you can breathe these things inside the motor and then put them back into your nose. So once you decide which device you want to use, and again, I recommend the squeeze bottle, the question is, well, how do I do that rinse? And the insert that comes with the squeeze bottle tells you to just put your head straight up and down over the sink and squeeze and feel it go in and out. Now, some of my patients have told me that that is not comfortable that it feels like it's going down their throat, that it can cause them to feel like they're choking or gagging or underwater. And so I have found that giving them a little bit of a different head position can be helpful in being able to tolerate these saltwater rinses better. So if you get your head more to the side and even a little head hanging forward over the sink, then you can get the nozzle in the top nostril and squeeze gently and you should feel the rinse go all the way through and out the other side into the sink or shower. And then you use half the bottle to that side and half the bottle to the other side. And most people are able to keep their mouths open and breathe, and they're able to tolerate this position much better. I would suggest that you just experiment with the head position to see what you like best. So now that we've established how to rinse, the last question that I would like to address is, is saltwater rinsing safe for your nose? Some of my patients have asked me because they've heard reports that you can actually give yourself an infection by rinsing your nose with salt water. Now, the key to this is that if you are rinsing your nose with distilled water or boiling the water that comes out of the tap, letting it cool and using that, you will not give yourself an infection by doing a salt water rinse. You can only help yourself by doing it this way. The reports of people getting infections from salt water rinsing are people who either used shallow well water where things like amoeba can grow or using filtered water that was run through filters that had not been cleaned for a very long time. And so again, if you're using distilled or boiled water, then you can feel perfectly safe and confident in rinsing your nose with salt water and not getting worse, but only getting better. I hope that this has been helpful for you. And if you would like to talk further, or if you want to see us or any of your sinus concerns, we are here at the Stanford Department of Otolaryngology, and we would love to see you.